Brad a fair assessment of Michael Bunting's game? Ah, uh, he goes to the greasy areas. Uh, I don't know if I'd call him a rat. He's a pretty good goal scorer, if you ask me. Um, yeah, I think he's been unbelievable. Obviously, I didn't get a chance to play with him in that first game on Saturday, but you know, I thought he looked great. And then playing with him um, last night, he was amazing. Um, you know, got to the right spots, finds a way to get open, and knows how to put the puck in the net. So he's done a heck of a job so far. He says he was just getting to know you now, but of course, both from Scarborough, he said roughly the same path, same coach. Yep. Back. Yep. Can you talk a little bit about that relationship. Yeah, so obviously Bunce is a little bit younger than me, but, um, you know, once he's signed here, obviously we're both from Scarborough, so, you know, Scarborough sticks together. Um, you know, so we've had a lot of time to chat and kind of figure out our life's path and, like, how we grew up playing. And both of us played double A. Um, we had the same coach and Mark Willis with the, t uh, with the East Under Tie Cats for a little bit there. And then um, he didn't get to junior until he was 18 and where he was with Sault Ste. Marie, and I didn't play junior until I was 18 as well. So, um, you know, a lot of... You know, what we went through as young kids, you know, playing hockey was, was the same. So we have a pretty strong bond because of that. Do you, do you, oh, go ahead. Sorry, uh, how closely did you follow what happened with Jalen Samara over in the U.K.? Eh, yeah, uh, uh, it's disgusting, honestly. Quite frankly, I'm getting sick of talking about stuff like this because it continues to happen. And um, I honestly, I, I haven't made a comment. And uh, I've just been kind of watching behind the scenes to see what's happening. And... Um, they give the guy three games, plus he can buy back 10, 10 games or something like that. To, to me, that's quite, quite frankly embarrassing. Um, the IIHF, the UHL, uh, whoever is the governing body there has to do something about that. That kid needs to be banned. Um, I, I think that's the problem. Um, you know, things like this are happening, and um, you know, it, it's not, it's not like it, it, it just happens. You know, it's a one-off. You know, we've seen it happen a million times already, and um, you know, the punishments. <laughs> they definitely don't match the crime. Um, I got a lot more I want to say, but you know I'm going to leave it there today. You're wearing the orange shirt. Can you speak a little bit about what today means to you in terms of connecting with Indigenous? Yeah, I think it's you know today. I think we take the time, um, you know, to recognize you know all those, all the young Indigenous children that were lost and those who survived the residential schools. Um, you know, it was something that happened that was extremely tragic and. Um, you know, I think for myself, I, I really didn't know the extent of it until probably about, you know, maybe a little bit less than a year ago, I'm sure, as you guys didn't either. Um, but, you know, I think we also have to take this time to educate ourselves on, you know, what the Indigenous community has gone through and, you know, how we can, you know, help, um, you know, as much as we possibly can. And, um, you know, in some way, I know we're never going to make it back up, but, um, you know, I think this nation has to, you know, do a lot better job than we've done so far. How much discussion has there been amongst the HDA about the incident? And when you say ban, do you mean ban, ban for good, ban for life? Or? If I had it up to me, you got you got two choices. You, you're gonna either you're gonna face off against us, <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kick the crap out of you, or you're banned for life. It's it's come to a point to where. It, you know, it's just sickening, it's disgusting. Um, the way that guy did what he did without any hesitancy, um, you know, it makes me sick to my stomach to, to know that I got to, you know, play, you know, play hockey and potentially have my children play hockey to, um, you know, face, you know, these these types of incidents. Um, you know, I, I can see why, you know, people of color don't want to play hockey. I can see why, um, you know, parents are completely afraid to put their their kids into the sport. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the same way as well. Obviously, I've, I've faced a lot of these things myself and, um, you know, I don't even know if I'd want my kids playing hockey, to be quite quite honest. On the, uh, the Scarborough front, uh, uh, was your high school Birchmount? Yeah, I went to Birchmount. Okay. Yeah, he went to a rival school in Newman, but I got a lot of good buddies that went to Newman. So, um, you know, I hung out there a lot. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. That was another school we didn't like. <laughs>